Hello, good morning and welcome to today's Products in Focus. So having a quick look at the US 30, you can see that we had a bullish engulfing pattern there on Friday. And then you can see we just come off ever so slightly this morning, but most global equity markets, FX and commodity markets are in sideways moving action right now. There might be short term potential resistance around about 17,900 and change. Uh, this is following the non-farm payrolls report that came in at 211,000 uh, versus an expectation of 200,000. Looks to be blast off for interest rates on the 16th of of December at the FOMC. There's maybe an 80-90% chance now priced in. Then so looking at the UK 100, not quite as strong as the, uh, as the US 30 market. So we had a really bad day after the ECB there on Thursday. Modest bounce higher on Friday. And it's just slowly edging a little bit lower this morning. Still very flat when looking at the interday chart. So short term potential resistance still at 6,300. Then moving on to Japan 225. Um, a bounce there on Monday. Tweezer bottom right here. Uh, maybe potentially cap this 21 period SMA. Longer term potential resistance still remains at 20,087. And we do have a whole host of Chinese data still to come. Uh, Chinese data tomorrow, in fact, if you have a look at this, we've got Ch uh, Japanese and Chinese data due tomorrow. And um, we also have some on Wednesday as well. You've got CPI and PPI in the morning, followed by Broad Money M2 and Money and New Lending, New Yuan Loans, and Outstanding Loan Growth uh, on Wednesday night. Uh, so moving then on to dollar yen, uh, dollar yen, interesting formation here. The, the candle legs are making lower highs. It's showing uh, selling pressure as it tries to move up higher. You might have short term potential resistance around about 123.73 and change. Longer term potential resistance 124 spot 42. Though we are trading above both moving averages and the technicals, the other technicals are relatively neutral. So then moving on to West Texas crude, you've got that dollar strength seeping in, uh, following from the non-farm payrolls on Friday, uh, which has helped to drive down uh, West Texas crude down below $39. So it's at $39.04 uh, right now. Next potential support, uh, $37.50. And obviously people are concerned that that increase in interest rates in the US will dampen growth. The real interesting one is gold. Uh, real strong technical breakout right here is uh, guys who were short got squeezed out. Um, this goes against completely goes against the grain of the rest of the movements we're seeing in the market because if interest rates are going up and the dollar is increasing, why is gold jumping up so much? So this is something that traders need to look at and keep an eye on because this is a bit of a, a worrying signal if you are somebody who thinks that, yeah, you think 100% sure that the US are going to go ahead and raise rates and why is gold rallying the way that it is right now? So somebody's taking a view, an opposing view for whatever reason. Moving on to Euro dollar and GBP USD. So Euro dollar, you can see this big move after the ECB. Uh, the non-farm payrolls report didn't really uh, drive Euro dollar down that much lower. Though we are looking like uh, one spot zero eight could be the potential support level to be aware of, followed by one spot zero five twenty four should weakness continue. Uh, but the euro cell seems well supported even in the face of a stronger USD. So finishing up with GBP USD, you had that um, big move there on uh, following the, uh, the ECB. People sold a lot of dollars to unwind those euro dollar positions, and now GBP USD is not doing a huge amount first thing this morning. So economic data wise, not much today. As I mentioned, tomorrow you've got Japanese and Chinese data at the beginning, followed by manufacturing output in the UK and GDP in the Eurozone. And then on Wednesday, more Chinese data and Japanese data at the start of the morning, so don't forget about that. Uh, finishing up with the crude oil petroleum inventory data and uh, that Chinese data as we discussed. So keep your eye on the chart form, guys. Make insight part of your late going forward and join me again tomorrow to find out what happened next.